Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning back in. Today we are starting, I don't know, it's a bit of a clusterfuck actually. I'll walk you through it now. Cue the intro. Uh, right, okay, uh, this was, this actually, this job came through as sort of a, it was just like a, a little brief inspection, because he complained the fuse board was tripping or something, and the, I'll show you, in fact, come up here, I'll show you. It's my first day back from Austria, so I'm not really, not really in the zone here. Uh, but yeah, basically we've got uh, a front end RCD board. Uh, I did notice we've got the kitchen sockets on a 40 with a radial in there as well. There's a 32 amp there which is tripping every time you turn it on, trips the RCD. Don't know why. Not a lot to see here, but that's got to come out. We've got to put a new dual RCD board in. Um, and down here, this was one of those jobs which uh, it started and I thought, you, you know, when you start picking away on the face of it, you think, oh, it just needs a little bit of TLC. And then you start picking away and the more you pick away, the more you realize actually it's just fucked. It just needs replacing. So that's basically where we are at the moment. We spent about an hour just picking away here and it's just shot. So I think we just need to rewire the whole place, I think, because it's just fucked. But anyway, I'll show you down here now. I actually didn't notice this last time I was here. I'm not entirely sure there was a... There's a fly lead there which disappears under the floor, which is plugged in there. I don't quite know, not quite sure why. I'm going to get to the bottom of that. In here, living room. Uh, that is live actually, so I'm going to be a bit ginger with it. Uh, that's pretty, pretty ronnied, I think is the word. I think there's some, he's had damp here or something because uh, I know if you touch the edge of that back box, you do get a tingle, so not ideal. What else have we got? Uh, out here is the sort of conservatory come lean to thing. Uh, and I'm guessing this is all pretty, this isn't a particularly pretty site out here either. The supply actually comes in from the house up there into that little box up there. But I think we're just gonna rip all this out because this is just shot here. It's one of those things, by the time you try and figure out what somebody else has done, it's actually quicker just to rip it out and renew it, which is basically where we're at now. So this is all gonna be replaced because it's not actually that much effort to be honest, a little, a little bit of fresh pipe, so it's not a big deal like. Through here. Uh, that skull there, I'm guessing, is the last electrician that worked here because no one's been here for quite a long time. Kitchen, not a lot to see in here, I don't think. It's actually, I don't think too bad in here. I did notice that the smoke alarm is off and all the lighting circuits are on. So that's fed off a socket circuit somewhere. So yeah. Out here, all of this is done in trunking. So this has been done at some point. Someone has rewired this bit, but I don't know why. But it doesn't actually look too bad. It is actually all in trunking and it looks actually quite neat. It doesn't look like too bad a job actually. So maybe we can try and salvage this bit is what I'm hoping. So yeah. They have got quite bad damp here, I did notice. Because these are all the existing, this is all the old cabling which is still live. So yeah, it doesn't look too pretty under here. So I think we're just going to renew it, to be honest. I think that's probably the safest thing. Upstairs we'll get to later, but I know the lighting circuits here are all in the old vulcanized rubber, this link here, which is weird. Some of it's all in twin and earth, and then some of it is in this vulcanized rubber. I don't know why when people start rewiring, why don't you just rewire the whole thing? It's just easier, you know? So the lighting circuit actually comes up for some reason into this box. I'm yet to work out why. Well, I think that is what goes back to the fuse board, I think. That's in fact the old rubber cabling I'm on about. That is still live. Um, you can, if you're on an EICR, um, just for newbies coming into the industry, um, you can, if you're doing an EICR, that is classed as a, a fail, if or dare I say, <laughs> dare I use that term, trigger the anal brigade, unsatisfactory. You can mark it down as unsatisfactory if you come across that, because that's not considered safe anymore. The reason for that is because you get this, where it just turns brittle over time. And you just get this where it just it literally it just it becomes brittle and you get this crap here where it just does that. Um, so if you do see it on an EICR, you can fail it, which is why I disapprove of visual inspections, because visual inspections don't account for that. Um, and they seem to be very, very popular, especially in the old drive by survey field. OK, so we've got to try and do that. I'm going to get some of these floorboards up here. We are still test driving this Bosch gear and um, the radio, I'll be honest, I didn't think much of that. Uh, that was a bit of a fail, actually. Um, but the impact and stuff seems quite good. But we'll, again, we'll keep you posted as we go along. Seems all right though, so far. A 
thought I'd get you a new pair of uh, new pair of sunnies. There you go. Cheers. Talking to which, people say I don't listen. I do listen. It just takes a while. I bought those from. Uh, I knee pads are fucking. They're really expensive. Uh, I bought these ones. These were like twenty quid. These were like a sort of medium halfway ones. But you can pay like sixty quid for a set of knee pads. They're seriously expensive. And I've noticed most people only have them on one knee. They have it on their right knee. There you go. You have one. Fucking hell, look at this. First time in 12 years. These actually, these, these ones have got these um, JCB trousers. You can have the, the those in. inserts which you, you put them in, but seeing as we're changing our clothing shortly. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's quite comfortable actually. Yes. <laughs> that does make a considerable difference. It is quite comfy. Everybody welcome, it is that time of year again. ITS have got a sale running. Now they've got over 800 lines on sale right now and the offers end on the 16th of September. So make sure you head over to its.co.uk to grab your savings. I'm gonna show you some of the savings they've got on sale right now. Quick and dirty, we've got a Makita brushless combi drill kit here and it comes with a free drill bit set. That is saved just under 70 quid. If you want, you can upgrade to the Makita two-piece kit, which is this kit here. That one is hundred pound off. That's a really good saving. And that comes with a bag, charger, two batteries, and a little drill bit set. Stanley work boots. One, two. Stanley work boots, those are SB rated. Those are half price. I thought that was also quite a good deal. Next item on the list is the Panasonic bag. Panasonic bag is 45 liters, comes with wheels at the back, carry handle at the front. 45 liters, that's half price as well. And the last item on the list is the DeWalt SDS 2.6 joules, one battery, one battery? Yeah, one battery, half price, better than the one that Screwfix that I'd like to point out. Uh, so head on over to its.co.uk to grab those savings. That's near enough, I'll stop there. <laughs> right, fuse board is somewhere in that corner. So he wants down lights in all these rooms which is a bit of it's a proper shit because, I mean, it's not, but it is a bit of a pain because it's all lacquer plaster. So you end up having to, oh, like this here. So you end up having to, when you drill from downstairs, you end up drilling through the, uh, through the plaster and then you hit this lath and it just, it, oh, it's just a shit to put down lights in. I really I hate doing it, but uh, that's what he wants. So that's what he's gonna get. So I'm gonna run a cable in first from the fuse board. This will be the feed in, which is gonna be for the upstairs lights. So, I think we'll just run it straight to this switch. And this is the stud wall, which is handy. I'll take that off and see, hopefully with any luck, we can uh, just fish it straight up the wall. It's not too bad up in this loft. Some guy, um, just going off on a tangent, some guy sent me a picture on Twitter about these, you, see, you know, these extendable ladders that I use. And he sent me a picture, a fucking thing. I don't know what happened, metal fatigue or something. And both these shafts here, just snapped when he was he was up it. It snapped and he he's um, in hospital now. <laughs> he sent a picture of it and this is just in two halves. It's fucking. I mean I don't know how he was using the ladder or how far out it was or how much stress was on this and get. I don't know. He just sent a picture of it. Yeah, poor sod's lying in hospital now with broken legs. So I hope you're doing all right and uh, I hope you've recovered. But I'm sketchy as fuck using these things now. They're good. Because for stuff like this, they're ideal where there's just not enough room to put a, you know, a fold out set of ladders. So they're ideal for shit like this where you're in a tight place. But yeah, I'm proper skittish going up these things now. A lot of this is just trying to figure out how to get cabling, especially in old places like this. It's trying to, you're just trying to figure out how the neatest way to route cabling. Um, you know, I know some people are very anal about this whole, you know, cable zone routing business. Well, in a new build, that's lovely, you know, and you can, you know, but like in places like this, I mean, there's not a single joist here which runs straight, nothing's true, you know, everything's on the, you know, it's just that's how it is, <coughs> and stuff like this. You know, I just cut the skirting off like that with the little multi tool, that then goes back in afterwards, they so can just fill it in, boop, boop, boop and you just run your cable behind as neatly as you can because it's also trying to be sympathetic to the house because this also isn't a new build and you know some customers you just can't go boshing big holes because they don't want to have to repair it afterwards so it's a it's a balance of trying to give the customer what they want but you try to apply as many of the regs in as many of the places as you can you know it's it's not as black and white as what's in the regs I just I 
refuse to accept it. And, you know, out in the real world, it just doesn't, don't work like that. God forbid, do I dare say it, mounting fuse boards at 1400, what a bollocks regulation that is. In fact, you, I don't think you've seen that video yet. There's a video of that, or you may have seen it, it depends how efficient I've been. There's a video of me actually discussing that, but you may not have seen it yet. Treated myself to a new pair of uh, snips because I lost. You know, that's the other thing, you lose tools, like they're going out of fashion sometimes. You lose, especially in lofts and stuff. So we've got a feed in, feed out, and a three core there. Three core will go up to that switch up there. Meanwhile, Dave is in here, cutting out these down lights. So those are the down lights which are going in this room here. We've ended up putting them a bit closer to the wall than I was comfortable with, but that was just the way, again, old houses, this is what you get. The joists don't run straight or plumb, and we can't, I'm not gonna start hacking holes through joists, I'm not doing it, so. This is, how, this is how it's ended up coming out. But it's enough, four downlights in here is ample. I don't need any more than that in here. Uh, this, in, this VIR cable, that insulated rubber cable I was on about, that's now come out. So these circuits are all dead now. So that is what I think, I don't know yet, but I'm pretty sure it goes up to that switch there. So I'm gonna have to investigate that a little later. That I think is the feed in and feed, the feed in and feed out. I, I'm not, I think, I don't know yet, I've got to test it. It's all off at the moment. And that there was the three core, which I was talking about, which runs down there. So that just goes straight down under the floor, down across those, down through those beams there. And then it just turns right from the ceiling, just down there. He's a messy little fucker. He's good, but he's messy. And yeah, those there are the holes that we've drilled all the way through here. Again, I've just used um, a, I've just used a 25 mil spade bit. Some of you were talking about using, you know, the bits which have got the, um, he the screw thread on the top, the little helix thread. Some of you were talking about using those and they are really good. I do like them. My only gripe with them is that if you hit, if you hit a knot or something and the drill bit, the drill locks, they, it just doesn't let go. With the spade bit, you've got, there's a little bit of leeway there. So that's the only reason I use spade bits. They're a little bit slower, but they're just a bit safer, I find, if that makes sense. But they are exceptionally good. I don't knock the ones with the screw thread. They're really, they are really, really good. You just gotta fucking hope you don't hit a knot or something and it locks and it ends up snapping your wrist. Are you, mate? Hello. Ah. I oh, fucking diamond you bought McDonald's. Well, I'm at. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I'm quite hungry, mate. Every Friday, six to seven, Fix Radio. I haven't even planned tonight. I've got no idea. I have seen no idea what I'm going to talk about. I don't know. I'm just going, I'm just winging this on a, just, just going with the flow and just seeing what happens. But yeah. Did anybody, there was a, um, before I forget, there was a post. Um, I put, it's actually been deleted now. The, the, the woman who made it deleted it. But basically it was a, I don't know, some eco-mentalist or something basically saying, why can't, why do tradesmen carry so much stuff in their vans? Can't we ride bicycles and, I don't know, wear moose hoops or so? I don't know, she was like really going off on one, like why we have to have such huge vans with all our stuff. And anyway, she basically got roasted alive. I think, people just they ripped her a new asshole on Twitter and she basically ended up true <laughs> she basically ended up having to delete the post. But luckily I screenshotted it before it got deleted. Um, and uh, the argument was why don't we all ride bicycles everywhere? So there is a video coming up and I will be do I will be trialing this properly with an electric bicycle and we're gonna see if it is actually plausible for a tradesman to use a car you can't even use a car, probably you can't use a cargo bike because where you know you get outside and what you do with the tools that are there you can't cart every single thing in and so it just, anyway i'm going to try it we're going to be well you know we're open-minded here sort of we're going to try it and we'll see if it works but that's going to be coming up in i think about two or three weeks probably about three weeks time somewhere around there Right, so these ones are, the light switch was this side of the door, but he may be moving this staircase, not sure. So it doesn't make sense to put it there. And the same again with this light switch on this side. It's just not, it's gonna make more sense if we put them here. So this switch, we're gonna dig a channel in here. New switch will go here. Same with this, so you walk in here into the living room and we're gonna put it just on the edge of the door here. So, cause again, we can't put it there cause this wall may be coming down, we're not sure, so. I'll go there. I'll show you upstairs quickly what's been done. This was the upstairs. This is the two-way switch for down there. We had to cut a little hole there because it's lath and plaster and as usual, couldn't get through. Light switch in here. These are still the old ones. We're keeping those. Hopefully we're going to use those as draw wires for the new wires rather than cut them off. Makes more sense. We've boshed a load of holes through there. These are the new lighting cables for the bedrooms this way and that away. Yeah, this is where we had to make a bit of Swiss cheese here. 
feed in feed out switch wire. There were a few people saying, why do you take the feed in and feed out to the switch? Because it just makes sense. Because everything now is just getting more and more smart home tech. And more often than not, you need neutrals at the switch. Because some people were saying, oh, it's really bad practice to take neutrals, neutrals to the switch. Why? If anything, it makes sense. Because A, if you've got down lights, why, if, why would you want to put a, a junction box in the ceiling? Because if you have down lights, you've got to put a junction box there if you've got neutrals up there. So it just makes more sense to put a neutral here at the switch, take your feed in and feed out to the switch. Because all this smart stuff invariably needs a neutral. So put it here. That's controversial. Uh, I don't know, we did some shit there. And then in here, there is a wire for this switch here, but it's under the floor where the camera guy stood. And it will, so we haven't, we've got to work out how to get across this gap here. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Maybe we can go up into the loft, across and back down. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure that out on Monday. In here, not a lot to see. We are, we were trying to work out where the downlights are going to be in here, but yeah, that's Monday's job. It's Friday, it's four o'clock. I need to get home and actually get ready for fix at six. But uh, that's basically about it. Thank you very much for watching. We do appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe, patron, yada, yada, yada. They're all coming up on the screen now. We'll see you on Friday. Take care. They have over 800 lines on sale at the moment, so make sure you head over to its.co.uk. Dot co fuck. <laughs> <laughs>